Hey guys, so I know I just made a post on our personal, private Facebook group, Next Level Gardeners, uh, and on YouTube community, that I wasn't going to be doing a video today, didn't do one yesterday, because of some things that have happened this week. All good stuff. However, I came out to film tomorrow's video, Planting Tomatoes, and it just occurred to me how my garden looks super different this year than it ever has before. I've been really trying to incorporate more companion planting. I've done several videos on it. And I am amazed at the abundance of diversity, not only of plants, but of beneficial insects. And I just kind of wanted to come out here and just walk you through, especially this side of the garden that I really have companion planted to the hilt. Now, a lot of it I'm going to have to start thinning out and planting new crops. I'm also very late with that. Just noticed I win the fashion award, don't I? Pretty hot. Anyway, let's go out here. I want to show you, um, I'm going to turn the camera around to show you all the diversity we've got going on here with plants. And the bees are crazy. Several of you have commented on the poppies here. And I just want you to see the bees are fighting over the flowers. I'm not sure I've ever had, other than maybe basil, any flowers that bees have been so nuts about. And I've seen hoverflies. I've got some yarrow, which is a perennial. Not typically planted in a vegetable garden, but through some of my research, I realized that there's a lot of good things, and I'll be doing some more videos on that. My radishes... I've let go to seed, some of them, and this brings in hoverflies. Over here, I've got a cover crop of crimson clover, and with my brassicas, I've still got some cabbages and uh, Brussels sprouts over here, and um, I'm going to be doing a video on how to use cover crops, especially crimson clover. I'll probably be filming that this week because as you can see, it's starting to bloom. I don't like putting out videos that I can just throw up really quick just to get a video out because I was supposed to have a video out. But when I came out here and saw that, I realized I've talked a lot about it. But those are the kind of videos where I just sit in front of the camera and have like, you know, some pictures up here and telling you stuff. And I, I thought... What a better time to show you than when I've actually got tons of life happening in the garden. And I think it's the absolute best thing you can do for your garden is to have diversity. Don't plant rows of things. Just row upon row. That's how the big farms do it. And they get away with that because they can use, you know, tons of pesticides. If you're an organic gardener like me, it is much better to plant a diverse group of plants, even if you're planting a lot of one thing, like cabbages, space them out in different beds with other things. Because what happens is pests, for instance, the cabbage butterfly, the little white butterfly you see that turns into, or that lays the eggs that turn into the cabbage worm that eats all your brassicas, they're looking for brassica plants. And if you have a whole row or an entire field of brassica plants, well, guess what? It's easy to spot, but if your brassicas are intermixed with a cover crop or with other things, they're not as easy to spot. And so it's going to throw them off track. And that's just one of the ways that having a diversity in your garden uh, benefits you, benefits your plants, benefits the beneficial insects. So I hope that even though this was a very quick video and a completely last minute decision to even post this or film it, uh, I hope that this did some good and I hope you learned something. And you know what? It's actually just, it makes your garden so much more beautiful, if nothing else. I'll see you guys tomorrow.